<laughs> yeah, we've got pork belly on the menu today. This is one of my favorite recipes. Not only is it tasty because we've got this beautiful marinade, which we're going to import all this flavor into the pork belly and then glaze it as it's cooking. So it builds up this nice sticky sauce. Uh, we've got a fantastic uh, black vinegar dipping sauce to go with it and you don't have to cook it for hours. We're gonna cut it into nice thin strips, we're gonna marinate it, and then we're gonna do it on the griddle pan. So you can also do it on the barbecue. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic and ready to eat in about 10, 15 minutes. Beautiful pork belly here. Um, so I've just, uh, I've taken the bone out. Sometimes you get a bone there from the yep. ribs. So I've just taken that out and I've taken the skin out as well. Because nice. we're gonna cook it fast. It's not gonna be enough time to crackle the skin. But what we were talking about before is we can take the skin off and you can throw that in the oven and crackle it and oh. serve it on the side or just nibble it. Oh yeah, I'd nibble it while I was cooking the rest of it, I think. That's pretty much what I'd do. Okay, let's get cracking then, or crackling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's make a, we'll make a quick marinade for the yes. pork belly. So I've got a little bit of water. Yes. Vinegar. Uh, got some vinegar, yeah. 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 So that's going to help tenderize the um, the pork belly as well and cut through some of that richness. Some soy sauce. Yeah. Got some brown sugar. Yum. And some lime juice as well. Okay. So that all goes in there. So just keep whisking it around till all your sugar uh, is dissolved. Yes. All right, which won't take long. And then basically, what you're going to do is you're going to marinate the pork in here. Okay. Right, you so want you, me to stir? Yeah. I so can you can stir. keep stirring that. And. Um, you know, we're going to do it really fast today, but like to get uh, best results, um, just put it in a, either put it in a bag or keep it in the bowl and put it in the fridge overnight. You know, the longer you do it, the more flavour you're going to get into your pork. Right. Okay. Cool. Do you mean with the pork and the marinade, or just yeah. the marinade itself? No, no. <laughs> We're not going to get flavour into the pork without putting the pork in. OK, oh, I'm just clearing it up. I'm a bit of an amateur sometimes. So. Top tip, put the pork in the marinade to flavour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, so, 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 <laughs> so we're just going to cut it, just so probably about a centimetre or so, not too thick, mm -hmm. but just so we've got enough, um, so we've got a nice bit of meat there. Nice. Yes. Right, so you can, you can do it in nice long strips if you want, or it's um, just like little strips like this is quite cool. Um, so they're just little bite-sized strips, and I've got some um, skewers as well, which we're going to skewer it, and then we're going to griddle it after. Okay. Brilliant. And uh, it's saying like, you know, do this on the barbecue. This is a great one for the barbecue. Okay. Um, nice. Over coals, and you get that extra flavour. Yeah. And then with this marinade as well, we're going to use it in two parts. So we're going to marinate the meat. Yes. And, and then when we, once we finish marinating the meat. Then we're going to put it in the pot, we're going to start reducing it down and then we've got a little bit of oil and some ketchup as well and that's going to help thicken it and we're going to use that to baste as the right. pork's cooking, you oh, know, so you yeah. get a nice sticky glaze over it. I love that sticky glaze. So okay. it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And that's good use for the marinade too, so once you've reduced it down, you can, you know, utilise it in other parts of your recipe. It's going to be delicious. By the way, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz and uh, always a good chance for you to have a look at the previous recipes that we've done as well. Okay, so pork's marinating. Yep. So pretty much we're just going to marinate this. So obviously as long as you can is uh, is better. Mm-hmm. Right. So we'll just leave that to the side. Nice. Now what? We're going we're gonna to put the pan on so we get it nice and hot. Yep. Um, and now we're going to make a vinegar sauce. Or we're going to put some black pepper in there so you can sp uh, sp in here? brine some black pepper in. Yep, yep. That'd yep. be great. Cool. Okay. Right, and then we're going to do like a, a nice dipping sauce to go with it. And the richness of the pork belly, and you've got the fat in there. And then that glaze is going to be nice and sweet and gooey and sticky. We need something sharp to uh, cut through it. So we've got this black vinegar. So this is the Chinese black vinegar, which is beautiful. Probably one of my favourite ingredients. Mm, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? And then we're going to make a nice mm. dipping sauce with that. So you can pour that into there. Cool. And then, so half black vinegar, half white vinegar. I love this. Got a little, one. little bit of uh, soy sauce in there. Yes. Some sugar. Yeah. Just to take the edge off that vinegar. Got a little pinch of salt. Just be careful because you have got soy sauce in there. And then we've got some lime juice in there as well. Okay. And then I'm just going to chop some onion and some garlic, and then that's just going to impart the flavours, nice fresh flavours into there. Brilliant. And we'll just serve that on the side. Uh, so our pork, let's pretend it's been marinating for hours. <laughs> yep, that's right. So take it out. Yeah. And we're just going to skewer them and that's just going to help us uh, keep the pork belly nice and flat and obviously make it easier to turn. Oh nice. And then we can serve it on the skewer. So I'm just going to go in. Yes. So you go in one side. Yeah. And then back through. Right. And then back through again. Okay. And then sort of you want to sort of stretch out on the uh, stick. So okay. So we've pretty much got like a flat sort of surface of the pork. But Brilliant. It's held on by the stick. Okay. Right. Cool. So I'm going to give that to you. Okay. Today. Well I'm just going to take some marinade out first. Okay. So this is the marinade which was in the pork belly. So I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm going to start reducing that down. Okay, nice. And then to that, I'm just going to add some ketchup. Ooh, it's reducing down, all right. <laughs> it's 
That's what it's supposed to do. Nice, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, and then I've got a little bit of oil in there as well, just a little bit of veg oil. And then we're just going to boil it for a couple of minutes just to start thickening it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use that to glaze the pork belly after. So I've got another griddle pan on now, so that's getting nice and warm. Jeez, this smells so good. And it's so simple, it's just a combination of just simple flavours put together and then just cooked. And it's just going to be like, you know, a huge um, flavour explosion in your mouth. Okay. You can see that's starting to reduce down, starting to thicken slightly. I'm quite fast at that. Well, I don't know whether I'm doing a very good <laughs> job, but uh, we'll soon find out, won't right, we? So a little bit, of, uh, little bit of oil in your griddle pan, get your pork, mm -hmm. and let's pop them in. You want to hear that sizzle? Yep. Now crisscross them down, that's it, so fit them in. Maybe sort of five or six in the pan at a time. Don't overcrowd your pan. We right. want those nice lines there. We'll flip it over and then we'll start basting. Mm, yeah. So I'll just turn that down. Right, and then I'm just going to... Um, I can smell how good the this dressing. is already. So you crack on with the dressing, I'll keep skewering. That's it. So just a little bit of chilli, garlic and some red onion in the dressing as well with all that vinegar. And that's just going to be a great dipping sauce. Okay. Right, so what do you... How, how, do you want me to keep an eye on these? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you finish off that dipping sauce and I'll cook these up for you, mate. Don't worry, under control here. Brilliant, brilliant. That's it. So, okay. Um... <laughs> I need something to turn those skewers. Fingers. It might be too okay. hot for me. It's not. So you can no. see, you starting to get a nice bit of colour. That's what you're after. You okay, want to cool. start getting that nice caramelisation there. And we're going to glaze these two up. Yeah, 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 cooking. yeah. So just a little brush there. So I've got the marinade. So it's just come down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just remember as well, when it cooks in the hot pan as well, it is going to reduce more. So you don't need to over reduce it now. Okay. Okay, just going to start. Just give them a light coat, and then we'll keep turning it, turning it, keep build up that marinade. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, you don't need to put too much on at the start. Ooh, ooh, hot. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll keep. I'll look so you can keep this. doing that, and then keep, keep all under turning control. Them. And glaze. probably about sort of between sort of five, eight, around about ten minutes or so, just as the pork belly's cooked through. Okay. So it's still going to have a little bit of texture, but it'll be nice and soft. Don't if you start cooking it for about twenty minutes, it's just going to go really tough and chewy. Okay. So turn, glaze. Yeah. So keep turning, cook, keep glazing. Turn, glaze, cook. That's it. And then they'll get nice and sticky. Yeah, and that's what we want. We want it nice and sticky. And then we're just going to serve them with the uh, sauce. Okay, so this is sweet. great. This is a great rugby um, sort of oh, yeah. you know, pre-match snack or during your hard time snack, you know. Okay, as we said, if you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. I can't wait to see the finished product because this is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, Mark, this pork smells delicious, doesn't it? it? It's all ready to go. Get stuck in. Oh, yeah, yum. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if we're going to eat...